<laughs> Did you guys see That's the right. picture of Kevin Durant going wee down the slide in Saint Tropez? Made me very happy. It was cute. Yeah, <laughs> just I, I want him to be happy. He generally doesn't give off happy all that. Much. Did he literally say we? I, I mean, look at the picture. He doesn't He's give def- off. We. That's a we. I actually, right there. look. There's a, a scowl. Hands are up. Yeah. I don't see we there. Yeah, Mike. You what know you what? See? You are right. That is a man. I've never seen a person on a water slide not be happy. <laughs> I I do believe uh, Kevin Durant is one of the great examples in my lifetime in sports of someone who's. Uh, enjoyment has been ravaged by us having too much access to them ravaged by social media that he i wonder if 10 or 20 years from now he will look back at this the most glorious time of his life and wonder to himself uh man did i need to be fighting everybody just because social media became popular while i was coming up and i spent 15 years or 10 years just fighting everybody when because he's fended everybody off for a decade, and none of us think it. he's enjoyed it. Now, we all know he loves basketball, and we all know he loves competing. That part he loves, but it doesn't seem like it to any of us that anything outside of that is something he loves. What's enjoyable about fending people off your entire career? What is enjoyable about that? He has not enjoyed his career. Still got the thing with Kevin Durant, to me, that is the most fascinating thing about it because we talked the other day about LeBron James conquering the social media age and somehow coming through it without some giant controversy when you don't get a textbook for this like I don't know whether you guys remember but we kind of I remember when LeBron joined Twitter as part of that original team uh, and not knowing what would come next imagine that you're Kevin Durant and you're as great as he is which is you know, one of the 10 best players ever, 20 best players ever, wherever it is that you wish to put him. Uh, and you did the move to Golden State. You love basketball. Winning's fun. Basketball's fun. Competing is fun. You conquer everybody, and it blows you out after four years when I don't know what you thought you were signing up for, but it probably wasn't what you thought you were signing up for. You got the winning, but you still got Stugat saying you didn't earn it. He and, didn't get the credit. But LeBron did get the credit. And LeBron seems like he enjoys the entirety of the experience. LeBron didn't join the best team in the history of the NBA. I mean, uh, kind of did. I mean, he kind Whoa, of made it as soon as guys. he. I mean, as soon as he got here, he kind of guys. like they came out as if they were the best team in the NBA. That's how they came out. That's the before they played a game. Yeah. That's what they did as three players. That's Golden true. State won a championship before Kevin Durant got there with that core. They didn't need Kevin Durant. I, I don't want to have that discussion <laughs> with you again. I'm not. Well, they dis- were the greatest team of all time in terms of wins. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. I'm just saying whatever he thought he was getting in that transaction, he only got the championships and it's obviously not enough because he then left fried leaves Draymond Green and is now on a water flume with all of us examining hey that looks like a permanent scow it's not we (laughs) guys come on it's a we